Good morning. You have joined me. I'm just going to have to lock the car because uh, I completely forgot to do that. Perfect. Car's locked. <laughs> you joined me in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. As you can see around me, pretty, pretty awesome. And the microphone is on today. I think the green light should be flashing. You should be able to see that. Uh, so hopefully the audio quality is a little bit better today. But um, I'm about to go on a four point something mile, I can never remember these things, uh, it's like a four point, four and a half mile out and back trail that takes you up to Sugarloaf Hill and there's a bunch of caves to look at on the way, which should be pretty cool. It's a bit, it's a little bit windy, it's a little bit wet to start off, so hopefully I'm not going to get too battered by the weather, but the scenery, it's a little bit pea soup at the moment, but uh Looks pretty good, pretty excited to start, so uh, let's get going. Now one thing I'll have to say straight off the bat is that there is zero, and when I say zero percent, there is zero parking here. There's some little laybys that you can put your car in, but I, I've got here at, this is just gone eight o'clock in the morning, it's about quarter past twenty past eight, and uh, luckily there's nobody else here, but if there was, I'd be in big trouble uh, because there's only probably about three to four places that I've come up where you could put your car. So if you're also not very confident at coming up and down very tight country lanes with oncoming traffic where you may have to reverse back down a tight lane, I would not come here. <laughs> it's certainly uh, it's certainly a little bit of a treacherous journey. Uh, once you come through the village of Settle to get here, there's some really quite tight and twisty roads, but it looks like it's well worth it. There is a nice little bridge here too. Should we check if there's a troll under it? I'm kind of hoping there is. I'm kind of hoping there's stuff in the caves too. I'm kind of hoping there's some troglodytes or some uh, some trolls up in the caves. Well, this is sick. Okay. It's quite difficult to do that one-handed, as I'm muffled by my coat. Yeah, over the little sty, and it looks like we're going up here. Nice little photo up there next to the waterfall as soon as you come onto the trail. Now, once we start the ascent up, there's three different caves to check out. There's Albert Cave, Victoria Cave, and Jubilee Cave. Now, I don't know what those are named after, but they sound like royals, right? Victoria, Albert, Jubilee. I'll have to look more into it because I've done no research. I just kind of came here um, off a little bit of a, an idea from yesterday. So I'm hoping you can still hear me. I'm hoping that the audio is okay despite the, uh, the bit of wind today. Hopefully we have no microphone issues today. Now once you've had your little photo up by the waterfall, you're going to follow it down the road like I am. Uh, it's a fairly decent sized road. I would probably just obviously recommend walking to one side. There are two sides of uh, of grass. There's not that much traffic down here at this time. It is, however, ferociously windy. I kind of, uh, I thought it was going to be raining this morning, that's why I put my waterproof cap on. Um, but I kind of uh, <laughs> regret not putting a beanie on, to be honest, it's a little bit more intense while the hood's up. You will reach eventually the public footpath. Takes you over this contraption. And there it looks like is the route up. I'm 
don't think I'll be able to cross this. It's too big. Oh, that was a struggle. That was a struggle. <laughs> Right, it turns out that this looks like Sugarloaf Hill in front of me, or at least according to all trails. Now the question is, are we going to climb up to the top? From here it doesn't look that bad, but I can guarantee it probably is actually uh, way worse than I imagined. But are we going to climb up to the top? Yes. Oh. It's not possible to turn around. Uh, I'm at the top of Sugarloaf Hill though. I can't turn the camera around because it will fly out my hand. We made it! <laughs> This is absolutely spectacular. That was a good little climb up Sugarloaf Hill, which is just uh, over that way. There's a sheep staring very into... Oh, it's barking at me. I didn't know sheep could bark. Or has it been sick? It's coughing. It's over it. I swear to God, there's a sheep over my shoulder coughing. It looked like he was going to be sick. I thought he was barking at me at first. Okay, behind me though, look at this. We're going directly behind where I am now up to the caves. I think there's like one cave fairly early on and then the other two are right at the top so yeah looking forward to this. Are they more scared of me or am I more scared of them? There's a lot of sheep here. They all look fine a couple of them, like this one here, is looking at me mad funny. Do you know me, sir? Because I don't know you. I'm watching you. We're friends, though. I'm not threatening you. We're friends. Yeah, if you don't like sheep, if you don't like walking through um, places of livestock, I won't recommend it. There are sheep everywhere. They won't give you the eyes. tell you one thing, it is not cold today. When I got out of the car at 8 o'clock it was like 10 or 11 degrees. I've had to open the pit zips on my, uh, on my jacket like a bit of airing. It's not particularly up and downhill until obviously we get around the corner there going up to the caves but I'm already sweating. I'm glad I didn't bring the beanie now. I know I was moaning about the beanie before but I'm quite glad I didn't bring the beanie now. Shawty got those apple bottom jeans, booty with the fur. Problem with the microphone is, even with, uh, you know, it improves the audio quality. You're gonna get my heavy ass breathing on the uh, the scenic clips. I'm not turning it on and off because I will forget to turn it back on again. I have a whirlwind of trouble, so. You have to just deal with my heavy ass breathing on the uh, scenic clips. Okay, I'm gonna hit a little uh, little drink break up before I ascend this big hill. It's quite rocky, so I probably need to concentrate. And I hope my phone doesn't fall over. I've just kind of left it in the wind. Oh. Brilliant so far though, very scenic, dead easy to follow paths, can't really go wrong and um, it's not muddy, it's all like really not trodden in so whether nobody comes here, whether this is quite a, um, uh, it's quite a 
less popular route or it's less well known about I'm not sure I just found it on old trails but it's uh, it's certainly not all super trodden in and it's super it's super clean and everywhere's dead easy to follow there's a definite trodden in path but it's not muddy in the slightest sweet sweet electrolytes I'll tell you what I am sweating I do have a fleece on underneath there and I'm kind of considering whether to take it off but I know it's going to be colder at the top so I think I'll keep it on right back to the grind Made it approximately three feet after sitting down and then decided to take my fleece off because it's too hot. It's too hot. I just didn't, I didn't expect it to be this warm because I thought it'd be windy, I'd be a little bit colder. No, boiling. Okay, I think I can see the first cave. That's got to be it, right? Very exciting. Not long to get up there now. So the view around here and everything, I'll zoom all the way out, is bloody awesome. It's a little bit, it's a little bit grey, it's a little bit grey, but it's good, trust me, my eyes make it look better than the camera, and my eyes suck as you can tell by these, so my eyes think it looks good. Someone with good eyes probably thinks it looks even better. Okay, ladies and germs, we've made it to the base of where the first two caves are. Victoria and Albert, I want to say, and Jubilee's right at the top, that's right, yeah, I got that right. They're just behind me there. So, it looks like a bit of a steep trek to get up there, but uh, I'll definitely not film the ascent because I'll probably have to concentrate, I don't want to slip all the way back down. But it looks good and we're definitely going in the caves, so I'm going to have to get my head torch out as well. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to this. Right, we've made it. This is the cave behind me. I'm going to get my head torch and uh, have a look inside and go in, see what it's saying. I'm not really sure what we'll find. But I'm kind of hoping that there's something cool inside. Hopefully the uh, Heinz 57 secret recipe. Potentially the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe a basilisk or two. Yeah, I'll get the head top chat and we'll go in. Okay, we're going in. I've left my backpack on a rock. I don't think you can actually go that deep in here, to be honest. There are little barriers that stop here. This is Victoria Cave. The camera's never, unfortunately, going to do it justice, but we'll have a look. I'm guessing this is where it stops you. I don't think I want to go too deep anyway. But we are I'm going to read this at least. Cave okay, deposits on this barrier are very fragile. Please help us protect them by staying behind the barrier. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be uh, picked up on the camera, but it is absolutely crazy. I don't think you can go super deep. This is like the interior. I think my head torch is making it slightly worse. <laughs> Should we see how ridiculous I look? <laughs> You're probably not going to be able to see anything because of obviously the head torch. But um, yeah, this is Victoria Cave. Pretty cool. I've been in some caves in the Yorkshire Dales before at Malham. Oh my god, I nearly slipped. We're fine. I'm going to stand still for this because it is really slippery in there. Um, but yeah, I've been to Malham Cove before when I was a kid when I was at high school. 
Um, and I guess this is quite similar. I do want to go there too. This is another place I want to go. My glasses are now steaming up and I'm not sure why. Right, we'll get back out and reassess. I can 100% see why it stops you going in. Look at this rock wedged in between this other one. Oh my God. Imagine that dropping from the ceiling and landing on your head. Well, you wouldn't even know. So I, I couldn't imagine it. You'd be straight dead. Um, it doesn't look like there's any stalactites, stalagmites. Tights go up, mites go down. I remember that from school. There's no particularly threatening rocks, but I don't particularly want to find out. <laughs> I don't particularly want to find out if there's any rocks that have got my name on it. So we're going to go over to the next one. That's Victoria Cave, and I think Albert Cave is just next door. Right, I don't know what this one is. I don't think this is the next cave. This just looks like the head torch is going to come in real handy here. Oh my goodness. It's very wet. And the walls are wet. <laughs> Holy smokes. I don't think this is going to be particularly... I'm just going to try and navigate this. I don't want to really... Uh... Holy hell. It is like the walls are sweating. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a there's a definite the definite bog. I'm going to try and navigate the bog. Yeah, that sounded as bad as it was. I slipped into the bog. <laughs> These are the things we do for uh, for the old YouTube. That goes quite a long way up there. Yikes. Okay, this is why you have waterproof trousers though, and waterproof shoes when you come and do things like this. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see out of there, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's not really showing up. Okay, I'm going to head back out of here, I'm going to put the camera down because, uh, yeah, I full on slipped off a rock into, into all that mess, so I'll join you on the other side. Was it worth it? Yes, that was cool. Now it looks like that up there is potentially Albert's Cave. That's what it says on the map on all trails and that all looks pretty loose. And I don't really fancy climb up and that is steep. You're probably not going to be able to tell too much on the camera, but that is super steep. And I don't particularly fancy getting halfway up and then like being worried about the descent because uh, it's slippery and loose rocks and stuff. So I'm probably not going to do that. Out of the interest of safety, my own personal safety, which to be honest with you, I don't have really much regard for my own personal safety sometimes, but um, that looks a little bit too far, <laughs> especially because it has been wet and uh, it's a little bit muddy around here. So my boots are very slippy. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna test it by going up there. Maybe another day. But that is, this is all like loose rocks here at the, at the side of me. And I don't particularly fancy climbing up that. Uh, you might get a better idea of how steep that is. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think we'll be doing that one. I think we're going to press on to Jubilee Cave, which is right at the top. And then we're going all the way back to the car. Just like that, Jubilee Cave behind me, made it. Oh, trying to shut off the wind a little bit. I'll turn around this way. Definitely going to go have a look. I'm already absolutely filthy, so I don't mind falling in any more bogs, but we're going to go uh, put the head torch on and have a look. Can't go very far by the looks of things. I might not cross this because uh, 
I know I just said that I'm fine falling in a bog, but it is very rocky and I don't want to do it with the camera in my hand. It doesn't go super far anyway, by the looks of things. Yeah, this is Jubilee Cave. We are right at the top of it. Whatever this is. Whatever the rest of this is around here, we're at the top of whatever this is. And this is Jubilee Cave I'm still inside of. Pretty good. There is a little bit next door. I may as well just keep it rolling. I just don't want to slip. There's lots of rocks around here. I don't think you can really, uh, you can't really get in these, unfortunately. Turn you around. Looks cool though. I think that's about it. I was going to stop and have something to eat, but it's not, it's not the most pleasant up here. I might sit on this rock behind me actually. Yeah, I might have a little, uh, little food break because uh, we're going all the way back now to the car now. It's, uh, it's an out and back trail like I mentioned at the start. So it's uh, you walk all the way to the top and then you go right back down to where you came. So I'm not sure what's up there. I'm not sure what's up there. I might walk around there for a little bit and see what's up there as well. But I think I'm going to stop here for a minute and have a little break. I'm getting a bit dripped on here, but it is what it is. It's slightly out of the wind. Um, so it'll do as good as any for a little uh, a little brioche break and a little trek bar as well. Good walk so far. Pretty good. Dead easy to follow, and there's no. Uh, there's no bits that you really come unstuck on unless you fall in the bogs like me. As you can tell, I'm absolutely filthy. <laughs> but it's fine. The trousers just go in the wash. That's why you bring spare pairs of clothes with you. And wear waterproof so you can sit in a drippy cave and eat your brioche. <laughs> nice view though. Shouldn't talk my mouth full, should I? I was just like looking at the camera, I'm wondering what the hell this is, oh it's glass. I thought it was like black at first, it kind of looked like, uh, I was hoping it was like fucking obsidian or something. Is that glass? It's very thick if it is. It can't be part of the cave, right? Might take that home. I don't know what that is. It looks pretty cool though. I'm definitely getting very dripped on now. Huh. So we've got waterproof hat, coat and trousers on. All the waterproofs are out today. Huh. I thought it was going to rain this morning. It rained on the way here. Um, yeah, it's been dry all uh, all morning. So yeah, apart from that guy out running before, I haven't seen a single soul either. So you want a bit of a secluded, um, secluded place come for a walk. Check out some caves, would recommend. Oh. Right, let's get packed.
taken a slightly different route to the one that I came in on. I came down there where I've just come over the fence. So I'm going to go back up this way and it meets you uh, right where Sugarloaf Hill is. So we're going to check that out. Oh, uh, big steps. All right, we're back on track now. <laughs> Just tried to do a nice walk into uh, to camera shot and I, I slipped again. It'll make it in the video. <laughs> and just like that, I am back on the road to where we started, where the car is in the waterfall. I can't believe what a day it's turned out to be. Look at this! I'd never have expected this this morning. I'm walking the middle of the road as well, which is great. Uh, yeah, I'd never have expected this this morning. It's cooking. Fresh pair of crockies. Right. I'm back at the car. I am absolutely sweating. I don't know what temperature it is right now, but... Oh, I only had this base layer on and then my waterproof just as like a windbreaker because it was so windy. Yeah, I'm absolutely sweating. That was uh, not what I expected this morning. I expected it to be way colder than it was. And I didn't even put that many layers on. But yeah, what would I rate it? Because that's what we're here for. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. And that's purely, I know this isn't the trail's fault. But the wind, just for me, completely. I've got snot hanging out my nose, it's fine. Uh, don't worry about that. I know it's not the trail's fault that it's windy. Uh, but it just means that you can't enjoy it as much. Because you're getting absolutely blasted everywhere. Um, and that's my only take on it. Uh, it's not muddy. It's very easy to follow, the caves are cool, the walk itself's great, and you, you can't get lost because it's so easy to follow, and you go into the top and back down again. It's just the, yeah, the wind, the wind knocked a little point off for me. Maybe you give it a four and a half, I'll be, I'll be nice and give it a 4.5 instead. But I would highly recommend this, actually really good, and there was not that many people there. The only downside, as I said, right at the start was the parking. You've just kind of got to put your car wherever you can fit it. Uh, there's a few different laybys and stuff like here and there that you can fit it on. Um, and like where I did the um, the hairpin to go start going up, there's a few little parking bits there where you can just shove your car. But yeah, parking is a bit of a downside here. But yeah, I would highly recommend the walk. Fantastic. The views are brilliant as well. I uh, would like to come back on like a non-windy day, but I imagine it's probably quite windy quite a bit of the time up here. <laughs> it just comes with the territory. But yeah, thank you very much for joining. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've certainly enjoyed it. Uh, I've got like an hour and 20 minute drive to get home now. And I'm having a big shower because I am filthy. <laughs> I am very muddy from caves. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace and love.